Hi. Mom. Hello, son. Where are we going? Going to New York, New Jersey. Why? Yes, I need to catch a flight to London. Oh, okay. Are we doing this in the most expensive possible way? No, we're doing this in the cheapest way. With the caveat that I have all of my stuff for four months packed in suitcases. So this is the cheapest way with three heavy bags. And then I'll be doing the real cheapest way later. Do you want to say the thing? This is going to be interesting. Oh, and then here's our bus. This is gonna be a $2 fare, as long as they let us come on with the bags. I have to say, we're acting as less of a nuisance than I expected. There's plenty of room in the aisle. We are being good transit passengers. Well, that was surprisingly painless. Yeah, we made it. It's time to stay. To the William H. Gray the Third, 30th Street Station, Which AKA. I, have, I passed through on Amtrak, but I've never gone inside. Well, you're about to witness the greatest train station on the Northeast Regional. I see why we're not doing the real cheapest way because the transporting bags part of this is the hard part. Yeah. Sitting on the vehicle with the bags is fine. In immediate thoughts, very beautiful. They put some awful U-Pit ads. But other than that, oh, and my thing's out of focus. There used to be a flippy where that digital screen is. But at Trenton, we are going to see a flippy. Okay, so you'll note that our train is four late. No, five now. Five late, even, even worse. Um, what is interesting about that is that SEPTA used to have this nice thing where they'd coordinate with NJT trains at Trenton. So a SEPTA train would be scheduled to arrive, you know, maybe five, ten minutes before the NJT departure, and then you could just connect. But, I might get a weird angle here, but um, because that doesn't give a crap anymore, the trains just leave whenever they want, and this train is scheduled to have a three-minute connection to an NJT train. NJT doesn't even consider that to be a valid connection, so we've purposely scheduled us to wait an hour in Trenton for the next one, and, and if it's five late, then it wouldn't make a connection anyway. Yeah, and we have plans for Trenton. Stay tuned. <laughs> I like this station. Good. Next to arrive on track three. Oh, well that's a Pennsylvanian, but it's worth knowing that we could have taken Amtrak. Um, and I believe it's actually similar in price to this trip if you book far in advance. Which we did not do. So it would have been eighty one dollars, something like that. Yes. So this remains the cheapest way. I think even quicker than Vans is totally the same. Also, I've, I've said before how this is the best seat on a Sofa Liner 4. Here's how it comes in handy for us. Amazing bag storage and a private compartment. Kind of. Hi TikTok, my name's Caroline, Miles' mom, I don't and I'm have here a taking a video of the view from the Shkapukul, I don't remember how you pronounce it, but it's something I, like that. I, I, I just like to go on the record saying I pronounced Skupul correctly the first time. What was that in your safari? What? Open your safari. Hmm. This was a, this was a TikTok sent to me. Okay, that's what they all say. They sent to me. Beacon of light. Beacon of hope. Look at this view. It's beautiful. Ride up to regional rail to see a rock wall. Trenton. We notably missed the train in New York, obviously. So we're stuck here for 57 minutes. There is a lantern. I'm going to murder it, and it flew away. Well, this trip's off to a good start. <laughs> Got it. So just pointing out, the ticket from Trenton to the airport is 2025 because they charge like a 775 surcharge to ride the. Newark Air Train, which is very fun, but not worth $7.75. 
the special thing we were going to do in Trenton was go to the surprisingly good pizza place, but it's closed. Well, should we go to McDonald's? Eh, I guess so. <laughs> Got some fries, got some chicken nuggets, a well-balanced <laughs> meal. Amtak ticket. Our train was supposed to drive on track one, but it came on track two. That's fine. Let's do it. We're off. We're sitting in the uh, mid area because we have big bags. Don't go upstairs very easily. Thoughts on NJT? I mean, I think it was pretty similar to like Long Island Railroad or any commuter rail, but yeah. it did the job. Great timing. Our final mode of the day is incoming. Weird airport monorail thing. Yeah. yeah. Newark Airport in the cheapest possible way with the caveat that you have very heavy bags and you didn't book in advance. <laughs> the final price will be shown on screen. Caroline, what would you say the moral of this story is? The moral of the story is book ahead on Amtrak. It is worth it even if it's a few dollars more. Wow, that's actually a really good moral. My moral is lantern flies suck, kill them all. All right. Now I'm doing the real man's cheapest way from Newark Airport to Philly, unencumbered by big bags all the time in the world. Let's do this. There's no ticket machine, seemingly. There's very bad signage that does not advertise the bus I'm about to take. This is gonna be interesting. taking the 62 from here to uh, Elizabeth. Should be here soon. I have my 255 and exact change ready. Um, this is an interesting bus. It just goes from Newark to the airport to Elizabeth. So it's almost just like get to a rail station without paying the exorbitant uh, air train fee, which for the purpose of this challenge works great. All right, about six minutes late. Here we go. Oh, a lot of people getting on this. Makes sense, it's pretty cheap. All right, apparently it's only $1.60 to Elizabeth, which is great, but also, someone had already put a quarter in the fare box, so I only had to pay $1.35. So we're already so much cheaper than I originally thought. All right, made it to Elizabeth. Um, in just about 15 minutes and $1.60, I mean, that is a, well, $1.35 for me, but um, really great trip. Um, and now we're here for about half an hour waiting for the train uh, because NJT, both NJT buses and trains run on a zone system. So at this point, it's best just to get on the train and then you know use our little tricks when we can beat the zone system and get some cheap fares out of it. Also, that 62 trip might have been longer if we'd been on one of the trips that goes via IKEA, which is a decent amount of them. Those take forever, but ours was just a direct one, which is nice. Fried chicken part two. First McDonald's, now Popeyes. All right, Elizabeth. Uh, this platform is tiny. It only goes from like there to there. I believe they're building a new one, which is why this one's so short right now. All right, 9.75 for the trip to Hamilton. 
not my train. Also, I must look like such a foamer right now with my like camera, my New York subway shirt. I mean, come on. We're taking this to Hamilton, which is the uh, best place to go for the optimal train bus transfer to save a maximum of, ready for this? Five cents. That's a lot of parking. All right, got my 2.30 in cash ready for this bus. That's 2.30, uh, 170, sorry, 160 for the bus portion and then a 70 cent transfer to the Riverline will take me all the way down to Camden. Oh, Pennsylvania Railroad. Now I'm a real foamer. All right, got my transfer slip, which you cannot see. Thank you. All right, as soon as someone else gets on the bus at Trenton Transit Center, I'm off. Riverline cometh. Okay, so I don't think it's appeared in the video before, so I'll explain what this is. The Riverline is a diesel, light rail, commuter rail service from Trenton all the way down to Camden. It's amazing. It is long and it's very cheap. The whole thing is one NJT zone, which is 170, uh, sorry, 160. Um, we were able to get a transfer for 70 cents from the bus. So we are basically going all the way down to Camden for 70 cents. Uh, we supposedly have a three minute connection with Paco. Hopefully we make it because Packer runs every half hour on Sundays now. I'm grimacing behind the mask. Old driver change stop at the yard. On the one hand, cool. On the other hand, other finger. <laughs> I hope we make that Packer train. Come again. Got my freedom card ready. market. Uh, so we've made it to Philadelphia, but in the interest of fairness from the, the trip this morning, or earlier in the afternoon, um, we are going to head to West Philadelphia, specifically University City, to officially consider this trip done. No sign of a train. Sunday night's up to for you. We've made it to 40th. Um, it's about 9:10, which means that it took about four hours and 20 minutes to get here for the price shown on the screen. I have to say that's surprisingly not bad. 
Like this was one of the less convoluted, cheapest ways I've ever done. Um, and especially if you wanted to um, spend that extra nickel, you could just take the train straight to Trenton and then uh, get an earlier river line probably. You know, of course the SEPTA NJT combo is decent if you, if you have big bags, but really Amtrak, if you can book in advance, that's gonna be the best option. Um, if you really wanna go cheap, um, uh, 62 to uh, NJT to Riverline to Paco to SEPTA isn't that bad. The best part about this is that my mom's flight hasn't left yet. She's still stuck <laughs> at EWR because her flight's been delayed by two hours. So. <laughs> wow, 942 subscribers. That's a lot higher than last time. Not that it's really a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I'm just saying that when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll ride and live stream the entirety of the NJT 317, the longest local bus route on NJT, and probably the longest local bus route on the entire East Coast. I mean, that's a long time to ask me questions and watch me try to be entertaining. But that's only if I hit a thousand subscribers, which may or may not happen. It's a, up to you.